Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, and a much better day today weather-wise, Candy. It was insane yesterday, truly. Wasn't it Wind, something? The rain, it just it just kept coming all day. Very few breaks. Well, we knew it was coming, at least. Thank God we have the... Uh, the tools to tell this stuff's coming a, a mile ahead. You know, you know, you know what I mean. Like days and well, days sometimes, ahead. Sometimes we know. Sometimes we don't. Yeah, but for the most part, and uh, yeah, it was it was rough out there. Um, I'm very thankful for what will be a nicer day in the 50s and sunny, and uh, we'll take that today. And hopefully, the rest of the week uh, will shape up to be not too shabby. Um, I'm still thinking about, what, about 20 minutes ago, you tell me about last night you were dancing in the uh, living room, was it, Candy? Yes, in the living room. Um, I, I, I think you should do that tonight. Everybody, try it. Turn the TV off, put on some music, forget what's happening in the world, and enjoy yourself. I should have done this three weeks ago. So I did something like that a few weeks ago. It, it had nothing to do with dancing, but I put on my television, I put on YouTube, and I started watching old, like, 80s heavy metal videos, mm -hmm. and I, I had it on full blast, and uh, I, it, it eased some tension, Candy. I enjoyed it. It really does. I think you should turn the TV off today. I think you should put music on and dance with your family. All right. Kids will love it. It's not a bad idea. Uh, by the way, you know, today is uh, April 14th, and in history, do you know what April 14th is, Candy? I do not. Should I? Uh, well, there's there's a couple of things. The first is that uh, President Lincoln was shot on this date. Oh, I didn't realize that. And the other one is that Titanic hit an iceberg on this date, Candy. April 14th. Oh, that's right, the Titanic, yeah. And it, huh? it sank on the morning of the 15th. If, well, uh, I'll sink on that morning. If James Cameron and Leo DiCaprio uh, are leading me in the right direction, those are the dates, Candy. April 14th, you hit the iceberg. That sounds about right. April I'm not positive, but April, what do I do? April 15th, uh, it sank. Uh, yesterday, uh, Governor Cuomo said that a bunch of states are going to be working together. I think this is smart. Uh, there were se I, I, I got to look to see which states, but seven states in the Northeast are getting together to work on their easing the stay-at-home restrictions once things get open again. And isn't this smart? They all get together, so at least we're all doing the same thing. This is very, very smart. Can't we all get along? Can't we all work on this together in life for everything besides a pandemic? You see what we could do when there is one? How about trying to do this when there isn't one? It's pretty amazing. And when I heard about it, I said, you know, thank God somebody's using their brain because... If, you know, if New York let uh, some people leave, you know, the stay at home, but some people had to be locked up and then Connecticut did this and Jersey did this, we'd be all over the place. But at least we're working together where as things start to ease, we have to do it together or else we're not going to beat this thing. You got to reopen together and close yeah. together. and. And, you know, they're also talking about how it's not going to be all at once. Obviously, some people are still in certain parts of the country going to be quarantined and, and have to isolate at home while others will be able to go out, Candy. That might be the toughest thing of all for people. It's going to be quite a thing. I don't know what to say. I don't know where we're all going. This is insanity. Debt collectors will be trying to get their hands on your $1,200 federal payment if you're in debt, from what I'm saying. Uh, oh. A study found two ways to lower transmission rates uh, once people get back to work are opening windows for airflow and letting in more natural light. I am a big believer in natural light. I love it. The more, yeah. more and more I can get. And uh, I see this story about a pregnant woman in Washington. She went into a coma from coronavirus. She gave mm -hmm. birth and mm -hmm. then she's awake from the coma and recovering. And she was surprised to find out that she had a baby, Candy. Is that something? Wow. That's insane. Yeah. And they're all okay. There is, from what I'm reading, they're okay. Wow. 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 Pretty wild. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.